today we will have a look on a DT Swiss die cut wheel. We will show you how to do a simple redrawing work, how to change a single spoke and how to rebuild an entire wheel. Before we can start, we have to dismount the silver aluminum disc and the rotor. Now we can start to assemble the spokes with the hub. Spokes on the left side and on the right side are different. In this case, we have aero comp spokes on the right hand side and we have aero light spokes on the left hand side. Speichen, auf der linken Seite Aerolight speichen. We slide through the spoke into the hub and repeat this spoke after spoke. When sliding through the spokes on the opposite side, it's important to make sure that they cross the already laced spokes on the correct side. This will increase the stiffness of the wheel. You can now turn over the hub and repeat previous steps on this side. When inserting the spokes, it's absolutely important that the spoke heads are aligned correctly. We can now start to connect the spoke tree with the rim. It's important that the valve hole has enough space, so you have to align the spoke tree. It's helpful to use something underneath to support the rim. To connect the spoke tree with the rim, we put a nipple onto the tool and thread the nipple on the spoke. Und schrauben diesen auf die Speiche auf. This must be repeated on all spokes. When reaching the initial spoke tension, it's important to check if the spoke heads have turned in the hub. They must be correctly aligned, otherwise they will damage the hub. Use the spoke holder to hold the spoke. Zu verwenden. When reaching maximum spoke tension, we can now assemble the silver cover disc. Hierfür spannen wir das Laufrad im Schraubstock ein. 
therefore we have to put screw security glue onto the thread of the cover disc and assemble it onto the hub. Und montieren diese. We can now mount the rotor on the hub. Montiert werden. In order to carry out simple spoke drawing work, we have to use the spoke holders. In this case, spoke holder for aero light spokes and spoke holder for new aero spokes. Put the spoke holder onto the spoke and make sure you slide it down all the way to the rim. Now you can turn the nipple inside of the rim. While drawing the wheel, it's important to keep the spoke tension inside of tolerances all the time. After drawing the wheel, it has to be de-stressed again. It is important that spoke tension, radial and lateral runout are not changing anymore. If the wheel is stable, it is finished. When mounting the wheel into your bike, please take care to follow all safety instructions. We from DT Swiss wish you a nice ride.